We should work together more. You exposed the Blackbriar program. We both have to do the same thing, right? We both want to take down the corrupt institutions that control society. I'm not on your side. It was absolutely um, exciting to see suddenly, oh, there's Jason Bourne. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's back. And he has a look when he does Jason Bourne. You know, it's a kind of intensity about him and uh, a physicality. So that was really exciting. But then over the next few days, I, as I say, I could see this sort of different colours to him. There was a sort of more humanity to the character, I think, and he, he kind of brought a... Uh, a quality of vulnerability mixed with that kind of incredible physical skill set. And it just made it inspiring to come to work every day, you know. Born, my name is Heather Lee. I'm not in charge here. I wasn't here when you went missing. I can see you going through the old Treadstone files. Retracing your history. I know you're looking for something. Let me help you find it. It's a very special franchise to me, obviously. Um, and I think it's very well loved because it is in those sort of mainstream movies. He's a slightly different character. He's a unique character. You know, Jason Bourne isn't a superhero. He doesn't wear a cape and a mask. He's not one of those kind of guys. He's just an, an ordinary man, you know? And I think when people watch Jason Bourne, they can imagine how they might react in those situations, in those circumstances. And when you see him thinking his way through and coming up with a plan and and executing his plan, that's incredibly exciting. But I think it's not just that, it's the vulnerability of the character, the humanity of the character. Um, and the fact that he's in many ways lost and lonely and vulnerable and on his own and an outsider, but yet he lives by his own moral code in a fallen world, you know. And I think that combination makes him an incredibly a, a much-loved character, you know, people really relate, everyone can relate to that character, someone who who rejects the system, but yet has loyalty in his heart, you know, that's the point. It's not that he rejects the system and wants to break it down, he's really the most loyal, patriotic character born. He just views the world as fallen and his destiny is always to have to try and find ways to put it right as best he can. That's great. A suspect matching Bourne's description has stolen a police motorcycle. <laughs> you can remember everything as you understand it, but remembering everything about your past doesn't necessarily mean you know everything. There may be things that you never knew. And that's really what this Bourne story revolves around. It's not about what Bourne remembers, it's about what he never knew or never understood. So there's an event in the past that that had profound importance to him, that led him to volunteer for Treadstone in the first place, because that's really where we left the story. Where we left the story in Ultimatum was he discovered that he had not been compelled to join the Treadstone program. He'd actually chosen, he'd actively chosen and himself volunteered for the program. So that was our starting point. And what he learns in this film is that the circumstances which led him to volunteer were not as he thought they were. They were actually 
as he says later in the film, I volunteered because of a lie. Um, so he discovers that that which he believed that he remembered was not the truth. There was a, there's a truth that was hidden from him, and that's what he discovers in this film. Jason, your dad was a patriot. He could see the threats that America was facing, and like you, he chose to serve his country out of a profound sense of duty. He would not want to see you harm the agency. You have to stop this. And you have to stop it now. When we turned up uh, in Tenerife, I think was our first day, um, it was, <laughs> it's been nearly 10 years, you know, since we've made a ball film. It felt like we'd literally finished last week and here we were again. It was the most bizarre thing. Um, and it was lovely. You know, we had a lot of fun on this film. It was, it was hard work and we did a lot of traveling and there were a lot of problems to solve, but it was fun and exhilarating and, uh, you know, as ever, you know, when you make a film, you, you want around you your people you can trust and people who you want to be in a trench with, you know, when it's really intense and the pressure's on and there's no better colleague than Matt, you know, no better friend than colleague.